Yeah, and that's Easy. yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Yeah. Or could I call him loyalty for this? Um, I don't think so. Loyalty lord? No. Yeah, he, he also works for the same lord. So. Mm. Well, let's okay, try for passions. Yes, success. Okay, you get a plus ten. Okay. You also get a plus ten to your skill. Cool. Awesome. Now, here's the kicker. One of you has to fail, right? Because one of you is not going to win this fight. Yeah. And after that, you'll be shaken, and we'll go through what that process entails. All right. So what are we uh, doing right now? Are we racing? Are we jousting you with the lance? You are jousting. You will both roll lance skill against each other. Oh, shit. Guys, don't kick my ass. <laughs> so let's begin the roll. Remember, you have a plus 10 to your skill now. Okay. Rolling. So does anyone have higher than a 20? No. no. I'm 20. I'm rolling for 20. Okay. All right. So, Sermon, you succeed, but he rolled a lot higher than you did. But so isn't you that... Get, you will get your shield and armor versus this. So we're going to have to figure out what that is, actually. Does Wait, anyone 16. have... Is it, is it lower 16. better? So lower is better... Uh, you want to be no no. You want to be as close to your target number as possible. Ah. Mm -hmm. So you Within want to be the, lower than yeah. your target number or equal to, and then the person with the higher amount between those wins. So you get sixteen. So uh, Anosh, you're going to roll your uh, damage, your charging horse damage, because you're jousting, okay. right? And your yeah. lance will break if you roll an odd number. Six. Okay. Rolling sixty-six. Oh God. Oh. So you're gonna deal him one damage. All right. <laughs> and so you got lucky. Win the <laughs> so like All you right. hit his shield dead on. You shatter your lance in the process, yeah. and so you lose one of your spears. So I called my uh, squire. I like, I don't have a squire. Yeah. Not yet. As I called it, one of the other squires, hand me a lance. Hand me a lance. And Sir Edward waves you off. He's like, you have won the battle, Sir Robert. Or Robert, oh. you have done okay. well. So let's see here. Uh, both of you get a check in your passion, by the way, for succeeding. So you can both check the box oh, cool. next to it. Oh wait, so we get a boost to it? Yeah, you get. You get a, you check. Get a check next to it. Uh, uh. All right, so you now suffer shock because you have failed. So like. <clears throat> As you're riding off, Sermon, you like throw your arms to the sky and are like, "Damn you, land! Why have you not embraced me?" And you must make a roll on the age table. So let's see here. It's a uh, five-two. Hopefully, nothing terrible happens to you. Like your hair turns white, but we'll see. What? Five-two. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty extreme, yeah. And you could, yeah. Uh, roll. Is it two d six? Yep, you roll two d six. Oh god. <laughs> this is to find out the number of statistics affected by aging. Oh, 2d6 I think is good six. in the middle. Yep, you have zero stats affected, so you don't take any penalties at all. If. So you're a little shocked that you've lost. You're super surprised given how like reared up you're ready to go. Wait, what are your I, thoughts I, here? I, what? What are your thoughts here? I mean, he, he did just beat you in a fair joust, but it was super close. Yeah. There's okay. there's no anger over this. You ride it off. The little squire in the corner, or the little uh, page in the corner, is like, I I I thought you could do it, Simon. I'll keep rooting for you. And the rest of the squires make off like bandits and all like kick mud at that little page. Yeah, and Robert's like, ah, oh, well, well tilted, Simon, well tilted. You almost right. had me there. Wait, I could lose statistics from losing a single. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I've never gonna joust anybody ever again. Well, well not just it's, it's a passion. It's if you yeah. succeed at a passion but fail to complete that task. That's what happens. No, jousting regularly isn't too bad. Okay. So this is kind of like my introduction to how passions are good yet bad. <laughs> yeah, it's you get a boost, but there's a definite That's there. Fair. Yep. Okay. Now. So the squires lead Aurelius and Dobbin into the fields against each other on the far side of the Quintains and, you know, are like brushing their horses and getting you ready to go. 
What are you guys doing? I think we can settle this without getting too riled up, don't you think, Dalton? Yes. Uh, I don't see any reason that there uh, needs to be some uh, crazy display. Simple match, right? Indeed. That means uh, the Christians don't. <laughs> Passion singing. <laughs> <laughs> singing for my honor. Love All right, so are, we're both doing... Uh, is it Lance yep, or? It's Lance. Yeah. All right. Skills. Lance. Charge fourth twilight. Oh boy. Oh. Aurelius strikes hard. Make your sixty-six roll with your charging horse. If you deal more than ten, you win. Okay. And Dobbin, you fail to get your shield up in time. You know, like your lance was off center, and <gasps> you just took it right in the shoulder. Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> so, dude, <laughs> so I don't think that um, was the shoulder. <laughs> yeah. So, sermon, mark down that you actually took a. Uh, I think it's called a light wound. You took one point of damage. Oh. You're going to take thirteen. This might be a, like a super critical wound for you. Yeah, oh, uh, thir God. thirteen your lance damage. Is gonna shadow Aurelius. Your your lance is just going to explode. How yeah, much damage? Or where, where do I mark it? I mean, uh, as soon so as this hit points. As soon as I see that it was serious, oh, uh, oh the tokens! I'm gonna dismount and try and assist. No, on your character sheet, right? You have, yeah, yeah. Uh, have current wounds. hit points. Current hit points. Yeah, yeah, I can't change it though. Oh, you can't. Uh, well, then we'll do. Oh, current wounds. Yeah, right? yeah. the wounds. Yeah. Okay. So you've taken a major wound because that's 13 points of damage. Yeah. Oh yeah. God. I have 15 out of 28 though. So let me see. I need to look up wounds real quick because it's bad. It's major, it's more than or equally a con. You know what? You know what? We'll say you guys were doing this with padded weapons. So it only deals half damage, so that you literally don't die here. So I just take seven. <laughs> well no, because the twenty three becomes an eleven, so you just take one point. Uh, I understand now what you said about dying during character creation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, you guys were using padded weapons all along, but that lance shatters under the force of this incredible blow. And I fall off. Like, I imagine oh, I fall off my horse. <laughs> oh yeah. Make a horsemanship roll. Actually, what's your size? What's your size? Uh, eleven. Okay. Yeah, you definitely. Oh no, you you actually get unhorsed automatically, right? Because twenty three is twice your. Yeah. Your size. Yeah. Size. So like, you're just like <laughs> riding forward, and then all of a sudden you're riding backward. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, you know, there was an even bet between Dobbin and Aurelius there, but now everyone's like, surely Aurelius will whip the ass of Robert. <laughs> I have never seen a man so unhorsed during training. <laughs> oh, where's okay. the injury? Let me just look it up real quick, just so that we have this for the future. So you take uh, one wound. Hit points, unconsciousness, I negative zero. Okay, here we go, wounds. Uh, if you get less than your major wounds, you take a bruise, laceration, or other minor injury. It can be recovered with first aid. So after this is over, you guys can first aid all these wounds away. Mm -hmm. And a major wound requires chirurgery. And it's so bad. Given the... I just saw this go down. Can I immediately jump down and try and minister first aid? Yes. First aid takes a little while. Uh... I, I I don't know if I want your first aid. <laughs> don't make him look bad, dude. Yeah. Oh, suspicion. Yeah, suspicion. <laughs> what are your motives? Get your hands away from me. <laughs> On a stool. <laughs> I'm like trying to breathe. <laughs> I, I had I had a vision of a, of a major wound if it wasn't if it wasn't for the pad. So characters can't apply first aid to themselves. I'll I'll yeah. go to uh, I'll go to. Um, Can I administer Aurelius, I think. first aid to him? He sounds like he doesn't want you to. Yeah. All right. Well, I will uh, respect his tight. wishes. Yeah. I, tend to you I, I think I should know that Robert is the most skilled of us at first aid, right? So first yeah. aid takes uh, several minutes and recovers yeah. 1d3 hit points if successful. All right. I call Robert. Come help me here. Looks like a splinter got him. 
<laughs> Just a minor wound, but to get the impact. Uh, was, so they delay the final battle? Robert, are you no. going to try to apply for a save? Yeah. I'll go look Gosh, at him. No. I'll be like, I'll I'll be wait. Wait. No. Uh, it's a small wound. Should I tend to it? Sir no? Elliot is like, Dobbin, sit down and allow this man to heal you. You'll have enough Very. wounds in your life. You don't need this splinter getting infected. Very well. No. Also, man, bite down on this. Bite down no, on this. No, it's not, it's not that bad. Pox. Okay. A large splinter like, isn't like, like a huge bolt. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to... Make three. first aid. Yeah, I'll make the skill check. Maybe first aid. Oh, oh God. Right. So, like, you actually drive the splinter in deeper, and Sorella <laughs> is like, you will need to walk it off. Uh, so I thought I was going to heal that in a week's <laughs> time. Yeah, was okay. it did well? <laughs> yeah. I, I thought I was the one who was doing it. Yeah, I, was like, oh, was oh. I was going away oh, from yeah, him. Okay. Yes. Him. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. yeah, so you do succeed and you pull it out and you For heal him. See, I was right to be suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you so, uh, one D3, this... right? Yep. Well, he only has one oh. point of damage, so you don't need to roll Ooh. it. So the it's squires, okay. like, uh, begin pulling everyone's horses back into place. Roberts and Aurelius, they help you mount up. They get you guys your fresh spare lances since you shattered both of them. So just mark down, <laughs> you guys each only have one spear left. Okay. And uh, put the padding on because Aurelius is apparently a fucking beast. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, everyone's, like, indicating, oh, I think you're going to win. It looks like it's about 3-2 for Aurelius. The betting. Ah. Uh, Sir Elid is, that's... you know, instead of sharpening his sword, he's now standing straight up and, and like standing at the midway line just so he can see when the impact happens. Okay. He says, When you are ready, this is for leadership of the party. Run well, my it's friends. So Robert, okay. Robert like, nods, you know, his head at uh, Aurelius. And then he. Puts his lance down and starts riding forward. Ha! Aurelius is going to uh, also charge. He's not going to use his. Uh... Yeah, no passions this time. Yeah, I'm no, not passions. Try. no passions. This is like mutual truce. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Anosh, you're going to land solid. Roll your 66 from your charging lance attack. Uh, yep. With the padding, actually, that's not going to deal any damage, but you will get a solid blow and shatter your last lance in the process. And uh, what is your size, Aurelius? My size is 13. Make a horsemanship roll. Yeah. Okay, so he, like, lifts you bodily off your horse as well. And Robert, like, rides off victorious, and everyone's cheering for him. A lot of money is changing hands. You see quite a few denaries. <laughs> How do you guys feel about the outcome of this? <laughs> well, Robert's all like, ah, oh, well tilted, well tilted. Aurelius is disappointed, but it doesn't sting too much. He's happy he came second. Well, Sermon is glad the one who defeated him won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's vengeance right there. <laughs> Dobbin's happy he didn't yeah. stand out too much, but he wished he did better. I mean, he stood Dobbin. out in a bad way, but... <laughs> Dobbin's got stabbed in the chest. Yeah, yeah. it was bad. So, uh, Marsha Illid kind of claps Robert on the back and says, Go to Ember and ask for Old God the Priest. Do you have any questions, any of you? So you said... What's the priest's name? His name is Old Gar, with two R's. Oh, sorry, Old Gar? Old Gar. I... Old Gar asked for the priest? Yes, he is At the Ember, priest. Okay. At the town of Ember. Okay, got it. You can actually only find Ember on this map. It's in the northwest corner, past Wild. It's in the middle of the second. forest, in the middle oh. of nowhere. Yep, yeah, see it. All right. Oh, 
Oh, cat. Cat, 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 cat. Well, let us depart then. Uh, so, Marshall Elliott says, before you go, will you leave this afternoon or tomorrow morning? It is a half-day ride to Ember. Oh, I'd say there's no reason we can't leave today. Onwards, yeah. my friends. Kind of. We can leave today and we can uh, discuss with this old gar the uh, state of affairs in the evening. So we'll be ready to... Uh, perhaps we could uh, rest a long... Uh, what time of day is it? So, you know, it was dawn like 15, 20 minutes ago. Oh, d yeah. So it's, it's quite early. All right. Yeah, let's head off. All right, it's early in the day, yeah. so we're heading off. Cool. Yeah, apparently you're leaving same day. All right, sweet. All right. You, I'm out of Lancer, so I'm in trouble. You travel the western route from Vagon to Ember. The land is a series of gently rolling hills. As you are all mounted, actually, let me ask, what horses are you bringing with you? Charger. Just and charger. One. charger. And one of no, my I'm bringing two. You, yeah. So. The Routsies are basically going to be like your riding horses. You, you mm -hmm. save the charger for, you know... Battle, yeah. Battle. For keeping fresh. That's what I'm doing, yeah. Okay, so you, so Sermon is bringing in a Routsie and a charger. Robert, you're doing the same? Same. I'll do okay. the same as well. Uh, let's see, what was the third horse again? A Sumter. So that's a the Sumter. Uh, I'll, bring, I'll bring my Routsies and a Sumter just in case there's something okay. to carry right. back. Did we get a Sumter? Yes. I no, thought we only got two Routsies. You start with a charger, two rounds and a sumter. No, one one round, yeah, one round seat for the squire, one round seat for yourself, and then a sumter or whatever to carry. Yep. I'll bring bring bringing mine though. So as you ride, uh, you pass certain areas like Till's Head to the north. You eventually go around the curve. You can see Stonehenge. Mm -hmm. For some of you, it'll be more familiar than others because you live. It's here. close to my home. Yeah. Uh, some of you even stop in at your respective manor to grab some lunch or something. And finally, you approach the dense forest west of Salisbury. Ember is a village at the bottom of a valley of the Downs. Everyone can make a stewardship roll to see what they know about this area. As you look over the lands and... Oh, didn't think I'd know much. Oh, a success. I'm, I'm glad I failed this. So, Aurelius knows something. Yes, Aurelius, you recognize that the quality of the village is large but poor, which is kind of typical for this area of Salisbury, most of Salisbury indeed. Kind of lots of land wealth in the form of oh you know, like vast areas and lots of grazing and food and farming but not a lot of material and mineral wealth this is tillsby uh this is ember okay this is the village of ember the fields are small and judging by the hides stretched out to dry most of the income of the village comes from hunting Rather than a stream passing through it, it has a spring pond. The mill is ox-driven, and outside you see a, a young man driving the ox with like a reed sticking out of his mouth in between some of his teeth. You reach the village in the evening. Uh, a number of the villagers spot you guys. None of you are wearing your armor or anything. You're all like wearing your riding leathers or your hunting equipment. And they're all like, wave to you, but they're not really sure who you are. What would you like to do? I'm not um, sure who they are. I will ride forward and... <laughs> Hello, peasants. Um, we have been sent to uh, meet with Oldgar. Do you know where I might find him? So who are you stopping to talk to? Like, are you just talking to a random person on the street, or is there someone in particular you're trying to... Um, was there... Is there anyone in particular noticeable that I would have noticed? So there is, of course, the boy that's riding the oxes who's like looking at you strangely. 
Uh, you know what? That. If he's the, f it'll probably be basically the first one I run across because I just want to. First person. Yeah, he's on the outside of town. So he like kind of chews at his uh, his reed and says, "Who are y'all?" Boy, I do not ask who we are. Answer the man. He's just looking you guys over and says, I don't rightly recognize any of y'all. Why, we are squires from Vagon. So he kind of like spits and is like, ah, squires, eh? Old Gar's in the center of town. You can find them huts beside the church like. We're real simple folk out here. Ain't got no squires. And he goes, yeah, said that get on there, awesome mules. And like, so the whole time, he like stopped his mules, but now he's like riding them again in a very slow circle. But the whole time, he's like keeping his eyes on a relic. He's riding around. So sometimes he has to whip his head around to like stare at you. <laughs> he's like, I'm keeping my eye on y'all. Yeah, peasants. Uh, just keep, I'm going to keep my eye on him. What did you say your name was before, you, before he goes? He says, my name's Tadwick. Tadwick. Good to know. Yes, I'm British Texan. It's a thing. <laughs> I'm going to put that under the foes section of my campaign notes. Really? Really? <laughs> You're coming back here? <laughs> Take down Tadwick? The <laughs> ox driver? <laughs> okay. All right. I'm what going to uh right now, killing Tadwick. Just I must be cautious of these people. Okay. All right. What are you doing? Um going to the center of town where we got the directions to. Okay. Hot. So this yeah. is going to be the last part. We'll end right here uh, after I describe the area and uh, we'll talk about this real quick and then we'll end. So you reach the center of town. You meet up with a man named Gar. He's a, a white-haired man with a, a pipe hanging from his mouth and a cross. He's obviously British Christian. Mm. He seems like the kind of priest you might expect for one of these backcountry towns. Uh, you, if you have recognize, you can try to rule it. I will. So, you know, like you see him hobbling out towards you, and maybe you've heard of him. He's kind of a big deal. Seems I have. Alright, you know some things about him. Anybody else that would like to roll recognize? I'll give it a shot. Uh... Where is that? Okay, uh, Robert, you recognize Old Gar as, uh, he's known for being illiterate, an illiterate priest, so he's kind of mocked by his theological betters, but he has memorized several Latin verses that he needs to get through, like, day-to-day -day prayers, you know, like the Lord's Prayer, and, uh, he's the younger son of an obscure knight and lives in sin with a mistress who he is not married. So uh, the priests around Castle Vagon and Castle Serum all uh, mock him for this. Other than that, he's known for being an extremely competent hunter. And he says, so, who are you boys? Takes like a puff of weed from his, and this is not marijuana, this is like actual, like, halfling weed from his pipe. Pipe weed? Yep. Okay, I always thought that was marijuana anyway. But, <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> Father God. No, so regular weed would be tobacco. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. Say, are you Father Gar? I am Old Gar. No one has ever called me Father Gar. That, that sounds very Catholic to me. Uh, <laughs> we are spires dispatched from Castle Vega by Sir Ellard. We have... So, they have sent me squires instead of knights. Very well. I... We hear that you might have a man-eating bear around, and we are here to come. deal with it. Come, come into my church. 
I offer you wine, water, bread, and salt. You will have my hospitality while you are here. But I warn you, you must bring your faith in God, for the bear will eat your flesh from your bones. And he I do not fear bears. I've killed many a bear. I, I, I glint have, my have eyes. Have you killed many a bear, though? I don't know. Probably I've hunted many a bear. I don't okay, know. Okay, so but, you've hunted yeah. many a bear. Can you make a, like a, a pride roll or something, or maybe something boasting? Yeah, that boasting. That's pretty, that pretty boasting. Like that's yeah. I, I think it's not the first bear I've hunted. That's this, not a hunting. sounds like a bear. proud roll, definitely. Yeah, it's a proud thing. <laughs> yeah. Where's my proud? Here we go. Oh, I'm proud. It's one of your. Oh, I just missed it. Okay. okay, so roll for modest. Oh. Oh okay. shit! You critted the fuck out of it. <laughs> modest of all things, damn it. Mark a check on that. And instead Shit. of saying that you've hunted so many bears, you immediately fold your hands and say, The land has not had me defeat any bears, old guard. I submit to your great wisdom as leader of this expedition. Teach us what we need to know. <laughs> Everyone is surprised around you that your usual boastful prideness is just down the drain. Shit. And you meekly enter the house of God. <laughs> I, will, I, will I will accept the hospitality of one of the proper faith. Okay, so you guys enter the church. That's where we'll break for the night. Uh, next week we'll have the hunt, the chase, the kill, the court, and then you will be raised to knights, and we will begin the normal campaign in 485 from there. So let me ask, what are you guys' thoughts so far now that you've gotten a scene at the the session in play, and thank you so much to Anash and Robert right there at the end showing how great the system is. <laughs> I like the system. It's kind of fun. Yeah, It's a good I system, yeah. I still understand like 25% of what's going on, but I, I see it okay. here and there. Yeah. Same the more here. I play it, the more I'll get it. Yeah. Indeed. Oh. Kai, do you have anything to add? Uh, no, but this seems... Very definitely. I I almost wish that it wasn't padded. Like if you if you didn't redact that comment, because that would be much more of a. That would be bad, man. I think you would have been taking a major wound. You would have been knocked unconscious by that. And yeah. I should have remembered that they pad all the practice weapons. So. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Uh -huh. All right. So that's us for tonight. Um, if you're watching at home, please follow, like, and subscribe. We've got shows. Unfortunately, it looks like the Tuesday show is going to be canceled now. So, who knows? By the time you watch this, people of the future, I could have six shows. I could have one show. But right now, it's currently Monday, Saturday, Sunday. And we'll see if we can get a Thursday game in there. So, thank you for joining us. And uh, please come back next week so that we can watch Robert end up getting wrecked by his own rules. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone.